In this video, we are going to look at the 6-2 service received for volleyball. Okay, so a couple notes here. Uh, we're going to have three different rotations we're going to investigate. You can on look at You can start any of these three. The, the, like this one doesn't have to be the first one. Uh, it's your discretion. A couple of terms. P for power, also known as the left side, and O for off power or right side. So the first way you want to set this up is like this. Now I know somebody is already thinking, well, this isn't the middle position, this isn't power, but uh, this is the way you need to set these players up to get this rotation correct. Now we'll set the uh, players up opposite, so our setters and off powers are opposite each other, powers are opposite, and our middles are opposite. So in this first rotation, what's going to happen here is our setter is going to push up, and they're going to be pushing up the middle like that. Now, these four people that remain are going to become the four people that are on serve receive. So the power is going to drop back, other power adjusts, and they kind of fill in. So it sort of looks like a U, if you will. Now you can spread these players out uh, accordingly. Now we're going to get ready for our first rotation. So we'll go ahead, all the players are moving. Now one thing I have to point out here is that our setter uh, from the previous rotation is now in the front row, and our off power is now in the back row. But of course, these two players are, they're not going to switch positions on the court, but they're going to be switching responsibilities, meaning that this person who was the setter uh, goes to the front row. They now become the off power, and this off power now becomes the setter. And there you go. So now we're ready to do our serve receive. You can see the, the two players have switched positions here. So our setter now is going to push up the power. Now, there's two different versions of this uh, serve receive. I think the one I'm about to show here first is more the simpler one. And it's one that you can, uh, it's probably the one you want to use for players when they're first learning the system. So the, the two back row players are going to fill in the back row spots. Our off power is going to push back. Now, really often coaches just use these three players to be the serve receive. Uh, if you want that fourth middle being on serve receive, you can move them back into this spot here. Again, if you don't want them serve receiving, they can just kind of hide here a little bit and then come in for the attack. Or they can stand there and serve receive. Um, it's really a variation there. You can either have four people on serve receive or three. Now we're going to take a look at a, a, an alternative version of this serve receive. So it's going to start off the same. Our power is going to be pushed up by the setter. Now we're going to have the two back row players here actually push over. Off power is going to drop back. Now instead of this middle hitter coming over here to not be a passer, they're actually going to drop back and be a passer. So we do have to remember that these two players are in the front row. So meaning they need to be ahead of these two players that are in the back row so that you don't go out of rotation. Now, why would you want to do this serve receive? Well, perhaps you're in a situation where your team, this middle here is your best player, they're your best passer, you actually need them to pass. Uh, middles often prefer, uh, prefer in this situation to have a direct path to an attack as opposed to coming looping around the setter like this. Again, it's sort of a specialized situation, but it can be a successful strategy if used properly. So back, uh, we'll do a rotation now. In our last serve receive rotation, our off power hitter is going to be pushed up by our setter. The other four players are going to fill in and be our four passers. So our two back row players are going to be standing there and our two front row players are going to drop back. And again, recall, these two players are in the front row. They cannot go beyond these two players in the back row or they're going to be out of rotation. Now what's tricky though is this setter needs to be careful where they stand because technically they're in the back row, meaning they need to be between the middle and the power. They can't cheat too far over to the right or even to the left here in this situation or they're going to be out of rotation. With that being said, this off power hitter here is able to cheat this way, uh, probably stopping about right here because they cannot cross the path of this middle right here or they're going to be out of rotation. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd like to point out too that there are many variations of these serve receives. I've just tried to present sort of the basic versions for uh, people just starting out and who'd like to understand these systems or this system a little bit better. I do have a series of other videos on my playlist. Please check those out.